This is Mark Schofield from Inside the Pylon with another episode of First Sound. Today, I'm going to look at Washington State quarterback Luke Falk. Over the past weekend, I ran a Twitter poll with some of the Senior Bowl quarterbacks asking who the people wanted to see next in the series, and Luke Falk was the winner. I'm going to look at his process and speed today, and I'll admit at the outset here, this is a bit of a mixed bag for me still with respect to Luke Falk and his ability to make quick decisions from the pocket. There are times when I see it, there are times when I don't. So I'm still working through that, and you might be too. But in the spirit of tell me what a guy can do, I'm going to look at some examples of him reacting to a defense quickly from the pocket and making the right decision with the football. We're going to look at two plays from his game against Stanford. In addition, we get to talk about some fun Mike Leach stuff, which is always a good thing. We're going to start with this red zone mesh concept. Mesh, a staple of Mike Leach's offense. You can see the mesh here from the inside receivers. Washington State's in a two-by-two look. Outside here, we're going to get this backside corner route. Post route here. Now, when you study Leach, when you study how he coaches up mesh, one of the things that really stands out to me is how he wants you to throw, if he tags the mesh with a post, he wants you to throw this post route if the middle of the field is open. Now, in the pre-snap phase here, we can see free safety look, but he's cheated towards the open side of the field a bit. Obviously, Falk sees this pre-snap, but if he wants to throw this post, he needs to make sure that this safety doesn't then break to the middle of the field and take it away. So the first thing Falk needs to do is hold him here Make sure he stays there. Make sure that middle of the field stays open enough to throw the post route. He can do that first and then still have time to work down to the mesh. The way Leach coaches mesh concept, he wants you to look at one route, then the mesh. This route is closed to Falk pre-snap. If he's made the determination when he sees where the safety is that he has a chance to throw this, he's ruling that out. He's looking post to mesh. We'll get a running back wheel concept here which will be his check down. So I want you to watch how Falk begins this play. His eyes immediately go to that safety right here. He wants to make sure he holds him there to open up the middle of the field here. And he does that extremely well. This safety stays right over there, even works a bit away from the middle of the field. Now Falk, seeing that, seeing that the middle of the field has been opened by using his eyes, by moving that safety, he can come to that post route. And right here, he's pulling the trigger, ball's coming out, there's the the receiver running that post route. He anticipates this throw very well here. He's even right here. Falk reads that, that he's leaving. He knows that this safety is now over here. He's done enough to keep that middle of the field open. Drops in a perfect throw. Again, see, watch his eyes. Forget about the mesh stuff that's going on here. That's not his first read. His first read is going to be that post. Can he move that safety? Eyes going to be locked right here, moving that safety, keeping that middle of the field open. Comes back late to it, resets. Nice touch throw for the touchdown. Now we're going to look at another route concept here. And we're going to get a chance to see how Falk reacts to a post-snap look that doesn't quite match up with what he sees pre-snap. This is a beautiful play design. I love this play design. This has something to beat everything. Scissors concept deep or divide concept deep, whatever you want to call that. Corner route, post route. But then you built in from the number one receiver this dig route. So it basically gives you a Mills concept as well. So if you get cover one, cover three, you can work the Mills. You get a cover two look, you can work the divide concept up top. Maybe you get man, you've got some man beater routes in here as well. This is a beautiful route design. I love it. Go get yourself a Mike Leach playbook. Get yourself a Mike Leach All-22. Study it, friends. It's fun, fun stuff. Let's see what Falk looks at pre-snap. One safety here deep. The other safety here cheated down. One corner in press, one corner and off. There are a number of different coverages that this could be. You know, this could be sort of, they could be rolling this to a cover one, cover three look. He could sort of cheat down maybe. Maybe he cheats down. He comes kind of rotates towards the middle of the field. But now let's remember the formation here. You've got three by one, 
three to the left, one here. If this were cover one, you'd expect this guy to maybe be the guy coming down and this guy to be over. This guy sort of cheated over here, weak side. Even the running back's in strong alignment. So it's curious that he's here if it's going to be a cover one, cover three type look. With him here, Fox probably thinking pre-snap that he's going to rotate this back to some sort of cover two look. But he needs to be sure of that before he decides which route he's going to throw to the concept and how he's going to read it. And as we'll see here in a second, that's exactly what happens. That safety here, he drops. And they play this basically like a cover six, quarter, quarter, half. Where he would get a hard corner here, two safeties deep. This guy drops as well. And so now if you remember the route concept, dig route, corner route, and your post route. With a cover two look with two deep safeties, you want to throw that post to split those cover two safeties. And then you can maybe throw this depending on how deep this guy drops. But with him working this like cover four, quarter, quarter, half, he's going to get over the top of that. So Falk reads this. He knows he'll get that post route. He just needs to confirm what he sees pre-snap, and he does. He's reading the safeties here. He sees that safety bail. Perfect throw, splits the safeties. And then we get a little fun here too. So that's always nice to see. Here's how it comes together. You see this safety get in depth. Linebacker doesn't get deep enough. Here's that dig route coming in. Backside vertical route here holds that safety as well. Again, it's a beautifully designed play. Falk reads it perfectly. You get the safeties wide. You can put that post route in there. Makes a great throw. And it's a touchdown. Again, there are times with Falk where I do wonder about the process and speed. It does seem like maybe he's not reading and reacting fast enough. But on these two plays at least, I like what I see. This is Mark Schofield. Thank you so much for watching this installment of First Sound. Remember to check all of these videos out. YouTube.com backslash Inside the Pylon. Also check out the work over at InsideThePylon.com. As always, thanks for watching.